Well, welcome back. Urban population centers such as Kansas City, even St. Joseph, have grown considerably over the past century, and their effect, well, it has, it does have an effect that is on local climates. On this week's edition of WeatherWise, my colleague, meteorologist Jared Shelton, dives into the urban heat island effect, which is warming cities across the country. The urban heat island effect is an increasingly apparent man-made climate anomaly caused by large quantities of heat retained by roads, buildings, and other structures that become concentrated in urban population centers. These bubbles of heat are on average 10 degrees warmer than the surrounding areas and are known to influence the rate of winter snowmelt, timing of seasonal plant growth, and even enhance the development and intensity of thunderstorms within and downwind of the cities themselves. They can also exacerbate summer heat waves, putting local populations at greater risk for heat-related illness. While a few degrees may not seem like much, the disruption of an area's natural climate should be addressed. A solution to curb the issue of urban heat islands could be as simple as planting a few trees, because restoring the tree canopy, especially in urban areas, ultimately reduces the amount of heat absorbed by man-made structures. This principle can be applied on a smaller scale as well. A few extra trees can go a long way in helping your home cool more efficiently, especially during the summer months. Plus, they're not bad to look at either. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm meteorologist Jared Shelton.